Hello, I'm Dante Alvarez from Mexico, wishing you a very happy World Phone Day 2023. I collaborate as a developer with Git Concept, where we worked on two add-ons that I would like to demo with you today. And you can find me on GitHub as dam a l v r z. Let's begin. First, I'm going to navigate to my newly created website where we can see the first of the two add-ons working. This privacy notice banner helps us manage our privacy settings and remain compliant with GDPR. So right now I'm just going to not accept any of this and just click save. I'm going to move my window to this corner. And now let's log in to make a new page. Um, first, I would like to show you that we are using the Plum version 6.0.3. And here we can see we have installed as add-ons the Volta Social Blocks add-on and the Volta DSGVO banner. Okay. Now let's go back and let's create a new page. Let's call it social blocks demo. And now let's take a look at the other add-on, the social blocks. We can go here and let's add a tweet. We can easily go to any uh, tweet that we want and we can just simply click here and copy the link. We can go back and simply paste it in our block. And we see again the privacy banner working. It's not showing us the content since we have not yet accepted uh, Twitter's cookies, right? So this is exactly what we were expecting. I would like to also show you, let's say, for example, I would like to add another tweet, but instead of a valid link to a tweet, I would like to add any other um, link. Let's see what happens. As soon as I paste it, it gives me a color alert saying probably the link you're trying to use is not the right one. So this is, this is very nice and it helps always inputting the right, the right link. Now let's add a Facebook post. So similarly, you only need the URL of the post you want. Go back and paste it in your block. And lastly, why don't we add an Instagram post? Let's go and here and the plone Cam, let's see, this image is really nice. We only copy the link, go back to our block and paste it. So let's save to see where we are now. Um, as I mentioned, the add-on is not allowing us to see the content because we have not accepted yet the privacy settings for Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So let's do that now. If I click here, it's going to again give me this settings window. I'm going to move myself up here for a moment and let's say we do one Twitter we hit save and here we go now we can see our tweet it includes all relevant information and it's very easy to interact with it from this from this embed um, post that we see now so what happens if we just click agree to all cookies great now we can see the Facebook post and our Instagram post down below. But let's make this page a little more interesting. I'm going to move myself again to this corner and let's see. OK, why don't we add a heading here? Share a tweet. Let's turn into a heading. And let's add some example text. Okay. And why don't we add some more text down here? Mm, and now uh, 
their heading, share Facebook posts. Let's turn that into a heading again. And now let's say we don't want to have the post just in the middle. Let's move it to the left. And now let's add some text that will go around it. Let's add a little bit more text. We have a lot to say about it. And now one more heading. To a heading and this one I don't know well the Facebook post I think I want it in a small size and this one then let's align it to the right and let's keep it in the medium size let's add some more example text more perfect now let's save and see where we are great now we have a way more interesting layout for our page and we can see how easy it is to go from a simple column to having a, a more creative layout and organization for our pages so this is awesome this is why um, Plone is so cool, it's so easy to use, and it just looks great, doesn't it? Now let's see, what happens if I want to replace this tweet? I don't know. Let's go find out another nice one. What about this one? Yes. So let's copy the link again, and we can just easily go here, paste it, let's save, and there we go. Now we have our new tweet right here. So as you can see, it's very simple to use this add-on and allows us to easily share our content from Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram into any page of our Plown site. Yeah, very cool stuff. And this is uh, one of the great things about embracing React as a front end. Now we can use all of the ecosystem from React and do all sorts of things. So um, now let's see. I'm going to delete the cookies that I have so far. Okay, so now we can see that we have again this banner since I just restarted my privacy settings. Let's just agree to all cookies this time. And now, yes, I did not publish the page. So let's log in first. Great. Let's first publish this page. Okay, and now we can log out and let's delete the cookies once more. Okay, this time I'm just going to hit save, right? We don't see the content again, just as expected. Now let's see what do we have in our cookies here. Let's add, for example, Twitter. Let's say, yes, I do want Twitter. We hit save. And now we see we have right here a cookie and we have also from Twitter itself. Let's now hit agree to all. And now we can see Instagram and we can see Facebook also. So it is that simple. It is that fun. Um, so I hope 
everybody enjoy the demo as much as I did sharing it with all of you. And I wish you all a very happy World Plum Day 2023. Bye.